Hi everyone, uh, today I want to start in a new little series on pattern synonyms. Um, so we're going to go through a number of examples and, and sort of get increasingly complicated with this idea of pattern synonyms, which is a, a, a feature that uh, some co-authors and I uh, introduced into, into GHC, oh, I don't know, five years ago or so. Um, so we're going we're gonna to walk through from the beginning, but it's going to get quite complicated in a, in a few episodes, so, uh, so stay tuned. Um, in this example today, uh, here we are in, in uh, I'm using Visual Studio Code now. I've migrated from Emacs because there's very cool things in VS Code. Um, so, uh, so here um, I have the beginnings of an implementation of this game Slap. Um, there's a bunch of other names for it. I'm going to use the name Slap here. Um, and in Slap, the, the mechanics are not very important at all, but it's a, it's a card game. So we have this um, uh, uh, data type to represent cards, the, just the value of cards. Suits don't matter at all in this game. Um, and uh, I need a show instance for, for debugging. The interesting part is going to be down here right now, which is that depending on what card we play, sometimes there's more cards that need to be played, but it's only for these so-called honor cards. So a jack, we get one card that's going to get played after that, a queen, two cards get played, king three, ace four, and any other card doesn't really qualify in this, in this function. Um, okay, so... Um, so the first thing I want to do, actually, is just is just a sort of a tiny bit of Haskell show off. Um, I want to I have this this show instance here. I want to make sure that it actually works, um, but I don't want to just check one example. I want to check all of the examples, um, and so I want to be able to to do that really quickly. I can do that by writing a deriving here. If I derive enum and bounded, that will allow me to make a list containing all cards, and then I can map show over that. And I can do that in line using a bunch of features in VS Code and Haskell Language Server. So if I say here map show min bound to max bound of type card, then click evaluate, bam, I can see exactly what we have. Um, and so I can see that this is working exactly the way that I want. And uh, anytime I change anything, I can always click refresh and then double check to make sure that this is still the case. And then it says as a comment in my code documenting how this should work for later. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, back to pattern synonyms. So we we have we have all of this set up, but I realize this is this is really bad because it's a call to error. And and we know about Haskell that if it if it type checks, it should work. There shouldn't really have to be calls to error. Um, and so we we want to find is we want to find a different representation here that means I can only pass honor cards to num cards to play. So I, I look here and I say, okay, well, instead of having all of these in one enumeration, let's just have two. And so we're going to have uh, data honor, which is going to be, um, let's see, jack or queen or king, whoops, or ace. Um, and then here, instead of just um, listing these out, we're going to say this last possibility is going to be a C honor, which takes an honor. Um, okay, so right away, we're going to get errors down here um, saying that these are not in scope because, indeed, I got rid of them. But the thing is, is that this show instance is really useful, and it's really useful to work on all possible cards. I could make another show instance for honor and then call that, but maybe I have other code that's also doing this kind of pattern match. And so I want to continue to support patterns jack, queen, king, and ace because in other contexts outside of num cards to play, oh, I'll fix that in a moment, um, these, these patterns are still going to make sense. So, of course, I do need to fix num cards to play. So we're going to change this to honor. Ooh, and let's see, can I use this super snazzy feature of multiple cursors so I can delete all of those and replace them with H's. Did that work? I think it did. Um, okay, so now why do I have an error here? Uh, not in scope, H, Ace. Oh, oops, I mistyped up there. You probably saw that. Okay, so that's good. Now, um, I still have errors, so so the, the warnings are suppressed, but this is going to end up to be something um, extraneous. So I fixed num cards to play, but now we still have these bad patterns here. So because there's many functions which can be defined over all cards, we want just a uniform way of matching over all cards. We don't need to handle honors separately in a show instance. What I want to do is I want to make pattern synonyms for these for this C Jack, C Queen, C King, and C Ace. So here's how I would do it. I'll, I'll do one at a time here. So pattern C Jack equals, whoops, uh, you know, that's right, equals honor H Jack. 
and and let's see really what this means. Well, this is going to have an error, and let's see, is there is there is there a quick fix? The, oh no, there's no quick fix. Um, what I need to do here is I need to actually enable the pattern synonyms extension. Probably should have been suggested, but sometimes things are imperfect. Okay, so now with that, let's see. Now, do we have what, what do we have? Not in scope data constructor honor. Oh, I think it's called C honor, not honor, because this is the this is supposed to be a pattern. So the idea is that this C jack now will expand out to this phrase here. And I can do this for my others as well. So I can have C queen equals C honor H queen. Uh, C king equals C honor H king. And C ace, whoops, equals C honor H ace. Does that work? Okay, so now we have errors around enum and bounded. So let's also deriving enum bounded. Um, oh, it still doesn't like that, does it? Oh, it must be an enumeration type. Oh, blah, my fancy enum thing isn't going to work. Let's just get rid of that. We don't really need that. Okay. Um, so now, pattern matches are non-exhaustive. So let's let's see. First off, this is compiling. And, and I can demonstrate it. I can say, what is show of C honor H queen? Whoops, I need my, my little arrows here to get this code lens. It's Q. So it is working, in fact. Um, but GHC doesn't presently know that this is a complete pattern match because what it sees is it sees CT, C2 through C10, but then it, it doesn't really see that there's a pattern for C honor. Um, so the way to fix this is we have to declare to GHC that actually this is a complete pattern match. If we match C2 through C10, as well as C jack, C queen, C king, and C ace, that is a complete pattern match. And so we can do that with a complete pragma. So if I say complete, and then I do have to list all of them, which is a bit laborious, but that's okay. We're almost done. If we can spell, whoops, and we still can't spell evidently. Okay, so if I say all of that mouthful, um, now that warning goes away. Down here, we get a different warning. Pattern match is redundant, which is exactly what I was expecting. Let's see, can I get the code fix? Does it work? No, that's not the code fix. The code fix is delete the pattern, delete the, the bad equation. Okay, so now no no warnings, no problems. Excellent. Um, so just to take a short step back, what have we done? We've replaced C jack, C queen, C king, and C ace with patterns. Um, it's suggesting these pattern type signatures, but pattern type signatures are a whole other topic for another week. Um, and then we had to use complete to tell GHC that this is in fact a complete pattern match. Now, unfortunately, GHC doesn't check that we got it right. So if I delete C ace here, then over here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be told, oh, this pattern match is redundant. And that's because my complete says that as long as I check for two through king, I'm good, even though I'm not. Um, so this complete pragma is a little unsafe in that if you get it wrong, now you can get incorrect warnings elsewhere. So we do need to be careful with complete. Um, in this particular case, these patterns are simple enough that we can imagine uh, GHC just figuring this out for us, but, but patterns can get a lot more complicated, and we'll see that in, in just a few moments. Um, so this is all well and good. There's still one small problem that we haven't fixed, though, and that is if I've exported card with its constructors from this module, well, that doesn't export these new pattern synonyms. And maybe my users of card want to just continue to use C jack, C queen, C king, and C ace, right? Maybe my type is in fact meant to be abstract. And so that um, uh, client code doesn't really know much about the details of my encoding. And maybe I want to change that encoding as I've done here. And so GHC allows you to do what's called bundling. And so if I can include pattern synonyms in with, in with card like this, whoops. Um, and this means that someone who imports card dot dot gets these pattern synonyms as well. And pattern synonyms in code act just like data constructors. So you can use them in patterns. You can use them in expressions as well. We don't have an example. Um, I guess I could make an example, couldn't I? Uh -huh. So I could say show C ace here, um, and that will indeed work. And, and there's actually a lot going on here, right? C ace 
is defined down here. So this C ace has to get expanded as an expression to be C honor C ace. And then here, the pattern has to match C honor C ace as well. So the pattern synonym is, is sort of behaving just like a constructor, just as we want. Um, OK, so that's pretty good. Um, let me, this is, I'm now going to deviate a little bit from this example, but I want to show another example of a, a pattern synonym. Um, and then and then I think that'll be it for today. Um, so this, this next one is, let's say I want to have a pattern synonym even, which will match any even number. So we know how to start. It's going to be pattern even equals, but now I'm in, a, I'm in a small bit of trouble because I don't have a pattern that I can write over here. So pattern synonyms often work well with another feature in GHD called view patterns. So a view pattern is a pattern that looks like this. Um, so a, the, a, a view pattern always has parentheses around it. Uh, let's see, uh, illegal view pattern. Can I do the quick fix? Will that work? No code actions available. Oh, I have to go in here. There, add view pattern. Okay. So now what's happening now? Oh, illegal view patterns. But I thought I enabled it. Huh. I don't know why that didn't work. Let's just do it manually. So I can enable view patterns. And now... Invalid right-hand side of a... Okay, I'll, let's get back to that error in a moment. Let's just pretend this works. Um, what this view pattern is doing is it says that take whatever is, is, is passed in. Let's actually look at another example. Um, so this is a bit silly, but I can say check even is int to string. And check even, I can say even arrow true equals yes it's even and otherwise no it's not so this compiles and it works we can check so if i check even four then we get the right answer i can check even 11 and we see no it's not okay so this is working well good so this view pattern what it's doing is it's taking the thing that is being pattern matched against, in other words, something like 4 or 11, and it's going to call even on that argument. So even is something that's, that comes from the Haskell prelude that, well, checks to see if something is even. Then we write this arrow, and then it takes this view pattern, takes the result of this function call, and pattern matches against that. So here, this, this 4 part here, what it's really doing is it's checking is even 4 equal to true. It's not really using equals, though, because equals is this function that it's calling. It's doing a pattern check to see if the result of even 4 is true. Here, it's checking to see, is the result of even 11 true? Um, and then no, no, it's not. So that's what a view pattern is. Let's get back to our pattern synonym. So this has the correct behavior, but earlier we saw that we could use something like C ace in an expression, um, but Using even an expression, well, using this capital even, this pattern synonym, that doesn't really make sense. I don't know, should it be 2, should it be 4, should it be negative 10? We don't know. All of these numbers are even. And so what this error message is saying, invalid right-hand side of bidirectional pattern synonym even. Pattern is not invertible. This is yet again a, a, a case where maybe we could have a better error message. So bidirectional pattern synonym, what that is a reference to is the fact that I've used an equal sign here. And it's saying that when I have an equal sign here when I'm defining a pattern synonym, it means that I can use even as an expression, and it will expand out to this, and I can use even as a pattern. In this case, I can only use this capital E even as a pattern, and so I have to use this left arrow form um, to say this is not bidirectional, it only works for patterns. And so we denote that using a left arrow. So this is now a unidirectional pattern synonym. Um, and what that means is that if, let's say down here, if I just try to show even, oops, I need my little arrows, and I try to evaluate non-bidirectional pattern synonym used in an expression. Well, that, that's exactly correct. Again, maybe we could be a little bit more forthcoming in the error message. Uh, but the problem is, as I've said, that, that even is only a pattern. Now, maybe it's a bit silly, but maybe I want even to still be used as an expression. So then I can make what's called an explicitly bidirectional pattern synonym. So I can say where even 
equals, and now here I use equals, but it's in this where, so now this is only an expression, and I can just choose something arbitrary, and 42 is an excellent arbitrary number. Um, and so now I've said that if I ever use even as an expression, it should just be 42. So if I refresh this down here, then we get 42. Um, and so this form is called explicitly bidirectional because it can be used as a pattern and as an expression, yet I've defined the pattern behavior and the expression, expression behavior differently. Um, this is in contrast to these implicitly bidirectional pattern synonyms where I just use an equal sign with no where. Um, okay, I think that's enough for today. We'll see more exotic stuff about pattern synonyms in coming weeks, including, just to preview it, uh, the last of the series is how we can use clever pattern synonyms to add, uh, to, to make um, uh, type correct code using lots of fancy types exponentially faster. Thanks for watching. Hope this has been interesting. Bye.